Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show a demo about styles in .NET Mavi application. So there are three types of style you can use in .NET Mavi app, like a implicit, explicit, and the global style. So when you create a new .NET Mavi project, then here in a resources folder, there will be a one style folder. And here in styles.jml file, you will see all the global style defined here. Okay, so for a multiple control, here styles are defined. Here on main page, if you see this button control exists, so this button control is going to inherit whatever the style defined here. Uh, let me run the application, so you will get better idea. So here, this button control inheriting whatever the styles defined here in style.jml. So if I change this font size to 18, then it's going to reflect here. Okay, so this is a global style. Now, if you want to apply style on a page level, then you just need to add here content page dot resources and in that just add resource dictionary. And here you can specify style for any of the control. Let's say I want to specify style for button control, then set here target type to button. And now here you can set property like whatever the property you want to set. Let's say I want to set background color, then just set background color property. And here in value, specify the whatever the color you want. So now this style is going to apply with this button control. So now, except this background color, all other property is inherited by this button control. If I want to, like if I change here, font size in global style, then it's just going to reflect here also. Okay, so here background color as well as uh, here, what are the font size I specified that applied here. So basically, global style is override by here, whatever the implicit style I defined. So if I change here font size, then global font size is not going to use because I, here I just specified some different font size. So you will see that reflection here. Okay, so this is the implicit style. Now, let me create some explicit style for label and here we use that. So here in style.jml, I'm just going to create some common style for a label. Okay, now another style I'm just going to create for the label. So here I'm just going to use based on, so I'm just going to derive what your style defined here in common style. So if you want to derive some style from existing one, then you, you can just define based on, and here you just need to specify that style name. So now this label is, uh, let me just specify name also. Okay, so this subtitle label is going to use this uh, label common style. And here you can just define some unique style. Okay, let's say I just want to that italic for subtitle label and another semi-bold subtitle. So for this, I am just going to set font family and whatever the font family is available here in mavi program.cs is semi-bold. 
font key, I'm just going to use here in font family value. Okay, so this both label are derived from this label common style. So this two common property is going to have this subtitle label as well as semi bold subtitle label. The difference is one label has a font attribute italic and one label has a font family semi bold. Now let me use that label here on main page. So here I can just specify style. So I'm just going to use here subtitle label and another label I'm just going to add that just going to use subtitle, semi bold subtitle. Okay, now let me run the app. So you will see the flex and here. One label is using this italic style and one label using semi bold property style. Okay, so same way you can define this explicit style here on page level also you just need to specify some key name let's say i just want to space create style for button and here i will just specify key and this text color going to be green so if i use now another button with the style property Okay, so now this implicit, uh, sorry, uh, page level, this explicit style I use here. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching it.